Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anne. Meow, meow, meow. In the last episode, we fought a bunch of... Do you know if they're monks? Priests? Um, probably monks. Yeah, we fought a bunch of the monks at Senpao Temple, and we're going to pick up there at Shigendo, the sculpture we found at the very end of the last episode. But before that, I have three skill points to spend, and I'm going to spend it on mid-air combat arts. Which is exactly what it sounds like. Allows one to perform combat arts while in midair. Allows one to use combat arts after jumping to close with an enemy or immediately after jumping a sweep attack. So I'm really wondering how this is going to work. Although it sounds like it might not work unless you're kind of like jumping towards an enemy. Might be context dependent. But let's try it. So I should be able to just do it now. Ichimanji double? Yeah. Oh! Yeah, no, you, you can just do it anytime. Hmm. Can I charge it? Yeah. Okay, so at least for the Ichimanji. I was wondering, like, would it make it, uh... Would it get it off super fast, or... That sounded wrong. Would it get off the <laughs> Ichimanji really fast? <laughs> I bet that's not going to be cut because of the double standard with sex jokes. Yes, it's going to stay. <laughs> okay, I'll start keeping your sex jokes. Thank you. I was wondering if it would like cast it super fast or or what, because I figured a lot of these, like the Ichimanji, for example, doesn't finish while you're... There's no way it could finish while you're in midair. It's too slow of an attack. But it looks like it just starts casting it, and then you just continue casting after you hit the ground. Let's see how it is with some others. Like, Whirlwind Slash? Yeah. Nightjar Slash? Hmm. It looks like with Nightjar Slash, they got rid of the forwards thing. Like oh, the forwards yeah. distance closing thing. Because if you just use it on the ground, you go forwards a lot. But if you use it in midair... Yeah, you don't go forwards at all in midair. Oh. Just, you only go as forwards as you're already going in midair. Which makes sense, because there's nothing really to, like, kick off of? Kick, kick off of? Kick <laughs> off of? Yeah, I don't know how useful that's going to be. I mean, it could be really good. Are enemies less likely to, like, attack if you're in midair? Give you a little bit, like, allow you to get attacks off sooner yeah so i imagine they often don't start trying to attack you until you're on the ground hopefully we'll see let's go back to ichimanji double and back to back to as i stall for time to figure out the name again shigendo oh, i think we're gonna have a lot of fun zipping from place to place with the grappling hook oh yeah Oh, hey. Secret? Oh, what's over there? How oh, precarious. so scary. <laughs> Some, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, oh, wow, I have to crouch to get it? No? Yeah. I think. Oh, another memorial mob. Oh. Sorry. Gokuyo, ikangakane. Konna tokoro ni mo. Shishong haru tokoro, mata kuyo shiwari. Hotoke o wasureba, mata tomurai monaki yue ni na. Shigendo Memorial Mob. Persimmon. What? A red ripe persimmon ready to eat. For a time, it allows one to recover posture even when attacking or taking damage. Oh. Ashina persimmons are particularly nutritious, perhaps because the trees grow in such pure water. 
Persimmons become blood. Blood becomes rice. Why would you say that? This may be of help to one short of blood. What? Why are they comparing persimmons to blood? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but that sounds really good. Oh, they're super cheap, too. I might as well just buy them both. Yeah. I didn't realize I had so much money. Shit. Uh, I guess I'll buy a blood droplet as well. One held and two in storage, so I've got three in total. Cool. Ah, scrap magnetite. <gasps> Let's get both. Let's get all of that. Yeah, absolutely. And then... Coin purses for the rest? Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, five color rice I can give to the, the woman. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. The, uh -huh. the woman telling me about the snake? Yeah. A gourd with five colored rice used by Shinobi as landmarks intended to be spread on the ground in recognizable patterns. The white gourd is blessed with fertility, and resting in a sculptor's idol will replenish it. Oh, this rice is not edible, however. Aww. I don't know if they would want an edible rice, <laughs> but uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to think of what that's going to look like and how I could use it. I don't know. It sounds really intriguing. Yeah. Do I have the coin purses to get it right now? I probably Shut don't. Up. I think I recently spent all of mine. I don't know, no. so that's a thousand. So that's sixteen hundred. So I have just enough to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need three hundred more. Well, no. Ah. It's very cute, the animation of the coins flying into your pocket. <laughs> yeah. Not that. That. Oh, just one use before you... Oh, it might be like the Red Gourd where you got a rest yeah. to get most of them... Back. Do I want to go back that way? Uh, let's use it once. That's so cool looking. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Pretty. Yeah. It actually casts light on the environment. Hmm. I wonder how long it stays for. Maybe forever. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. Makes me think that this might be something I'm going to need soon. Like, maybe we're going to go into a dark cavernous place. Oh. Remember that poisonous place in Dark Souls 2? That was a nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was an equivalent in Dark Souls 1 as well. Oh, hey. Wait, is... Is that back down where all the monks were? That I, I used to get up to the place? I don't think it is, because I think I got yeah. all the loot, and there's one over there. Oh, a couple more of these. Aww. No, there's an offering, kind of, uh, or not an offering, but a uh, some like ceremonial incense right in front of it. Oh, I guess that's why the memorial mobs there, huh? Yeah. Wait, that is the place where I came from. I guess I just missed some loot. Huh. Well, I suppose I can just get back up by just teleporting to the Sinpao. Uh, or this Segundo. Yeah. Segundo. Sculpture. Pacifying agent. Oh, that was well hidden, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you had to look at it just the right angle. Yeah, looks like I have five uses of the rice now. Good. Okay, let's go forwards. Gotta be on the lookout for secret places to go. Ah. I don't 
don't think that's a secret place to go, though. We should go explore over here. You got so many balloons to pop next to that woman now. Yeah. Oh ho ho. I thought they saw me. I would have gotten the backstab otherwise. Aw. Say la shit. Say la shit. <laughs> Loaded axe. Haven't used this in a while. Yeah. Mainly because you're a show off who likes not using the axe against the shield people. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey. And there's one that actually already spotted me over there. Let's go take this one out, too. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Now we're free to explore. We There's a memorial mob. Some stuff over there. How do I get there? Imagine you drop down from somewhere up there. Oh yeah, I think right above my hair. Yeah. My beautiful flowing locks. This is where I came from. I'm not sure what the point of this is. You can't... Can I really do anything from here? Oh, I guess you can get over here. That's where I came from. What was that that appeared? That. Oh, probably like a swinging point, huh? But where is it? It says it's like, points down here and then it disappears. I think it's that little root underneath that rock. Oh. Do I need to do, do I just need to run off the edge here? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Okay, do it. Oh. oh, and you have to grab. Holy, Holy shit. Holy shit. That is really cool. And they make it so you can't get over to a safe place, so you have to just, like, probably do this and then... Oh. Uh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> this better be worth it. Heavy coin purse, that is worth it. I don't know. It could have been more worth it, you know? Bulging coin purse? Yeah. Give me that bulge. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Same. <laughs> um, I kind of forgot the button to grab, I think. No, no, no. I remembered it. 
Not sure what went wrong there then. Uh. Oh, jeez. I love the whole movement mechanics in this game. Yeah, it's They're fantastic. So cool. Oh, we got a jump back and forth thing. <gasps> For like the third time in the entire game. Uh-oh. Sorry. Uh, all the fluids that came out of it were like green and red. Ooh. Acid and blood, I guess. Oh, yeah. They spit out poison, don't they? Yeah. I hear another one. Probably up above somewhere. Yeah. Man, look at my face. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Damn. Take a shower. What is that? Oh! White pinwheel. Wait, this has been mentioned before, right? No, I'm thinking of the white flower that that person mentioned. Oh, but maybe this looks like a flower. Yeah, it totally does. I thought it was a flower. A small pinwheel made of white paper found below a cliff at Mount Congo. Perhaps it was carried there by the wind. It's simply a single pure white pinwheel. Only the child is right here. Only the child is right here? What? I don't know what that means. Huh. But yeah, I think that is what they wanted. Glad I went this way. I love how you can see other stuff from everywhere. Like, it's all linked up. Like, you can see the memorial mob from here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Whoopsie. <laughs> Wasn't paying any attention. Oh, this... This is that jagged outcropping rock that I saw from far away somewhere and said, doesn't that look cool? Oh. Isn't it? Yeah. I love how when you see something cool, you often get to go there. I think you missed something. Uh, down there? Like down there on the ledge? On the walk path? Down here? Huh. Uh, like behind that, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly. You know, female hysteria. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. It's always good to double check. <laughs> I heard creepy voices from in here. Oh, hey. Has this been burned? Oh. Oh! Here! Do you remember? I super don't. The the headless thing? Oh! oh, oh. Yeah! Whoa! Uh, How did that work? Huh? How can you do that on an enemy that knows you're there? Huh? I was jumping at it to try to do a... Uh, Try to do Ichimanji in midair like this. Huh. Uh, does that have something to do with it? Hmm. Heavy coin purse. I feel like this is going to be something real good. Monkey booze. <laughs> Alcohol created by dew pooled in a hollow tree. Fruits hidden by monkeys in tree hollows can sometimes ferment and turn into sake with a bit of luck. 
While it's known for its brutally harsh flavor, some find this acquired taste irresistible. Oh, that would be good for, um, um, the sculptor. Yeah. What's my real quest? I feel like my real quest is just to find different flavors of sake. <laughs> the divine air, whomst? <laughs> We're trying to romance the sculptor here. Yeah. Oh, that feels like such a jumping up place, but it's not. No. Yeah, it looks like a place has to be specifically made for jumping back and forth. Like, you can't yeah. just do it in a general area like this. It's got to be specifically made for it with those white markings along in the walls. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Am I missing something? No. Yeah, because all this, if I go back in here, this is just going to be going back to somewhere where I've already been. Yeah. Okay. I think that actually goes to the bell. <laughs> yeah. The bell you do not want to toll. <laughs> yeah. So I think I should, I think to get back, because I went to that place where you can't really get back, I think. When I jumped, uh, I think I should teleport back. Yeah. Chips, 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 chips. Let's end the recording. Okay. So let's bring the sake back to the sculptor. あいも変わらず辛い酒だ。だが、これが懐かしい。よく飲んでいたのか。もはや そして、あやつの泣き虫の指笛を聞いた。That sounds fucking gay as fuck. <laughs> that was Just two dudes in a forest all alone. Five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> they talked about a valley. Do you think they're talking about the sunken valley? Oh. We also have a bunch of crafting things. So there's four different upgrades we can get for the prosthetic. Loaded spear cleave type. Hmm, unleashes far reaching thrust attacks. Da, da, da. Can also tear poorly fitting armor. That's the same. Store energy in the spring mechanism for a powerful cleaving attack. That's as opposed to the thrust type that I already have. Oh, right. These are totally separate tools that I can equip. So I guess depending on what type I want for the enemy, I can get a different type of special attack with the spear. Yeah. So like this current one, that's the one where I charge forwards, right? Yes. So that's a cleave instead of a charge forwards. Interesting. Gouging top. Enhanced shuriken. Mm -mm -mm. Cost of blade to rotate after landing, damaging the enemy multiple multiple times on hit. Does it do anything else? Hits the enemy multiple times. Don't I already have that? The spinning shuriken? Hits the enemy multiple times. What? 
What? Maybe it's like more powerful than a shuriken? Has a penetrating effect that damages vitality and posture even when guarded. Oh, the shuriken can be blocked. So the good thing about this is that it always does damage regardless? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Spring load axe. Uh, allows for large sweeping attacks despite its weight. Isn't that the same? Oh, that's the whirling thing. So like mm. AoE? Yeah. I wonder why that's locked. Oh. And then the flame vent. Can be charged to release a massive blast of flames and hot air sending opponents flying. Oh. Oh? Uh? Flame blast, yeah. I actually have enough crafting components to get two things. So let's get the gouging top. That gives me basically a more powerful shuriken that hurts enemies even if they're guarding. Oh, tier five information's now unlocked. Oh, what is that special crafting ingredient? Adamantite scrap. I haven't even gotten a single one of those. Damn. I think these tier this tier is pretty far off. Yeah. Um, so that, and then let's get the spring load flame vent. And let's go test him out. Shuriken, I don't think we can really test out. I don't think it's going to really look any different, probably. Mm. Gouging top, a uh, spring load flame vent, and the loaded axe. Yeah, let's see if it looks any different. I mean, it looks cool. Maybe it sounds more violent? I'm not sure. But it'll hurt enemies even if they're guarding. So this, now I can charge up the flame vent, which I think should do more damage as well as knock enemies back. Cool. Oh. That is fucking cool. Does it knock them back and me? Holy shit. I wasn't going to bother testing in combat, but let's do it. That is so cool looking. Oh, it just knocks you back. And it immediately gives them burn status. Usually you have to burn someone twice to give them that. Yeah. Oh, that all. Yeah, let's see if we can give the white spinning wheel to Kotaro. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> みんな、みんなは、うちの巫女様たち。そうか。俺は真っ白い なんだと。ほら、実は知ってるんだ。あんたは忍びなんだろ。坊様たちが言っていた忍びは神隠しができるって。何故それを望む。神隠しした先にきっと皆がいる。ああ。皆の元に行かねばなんねえ。That's really sad. 何せ only thing I can do is refuse. When they say spirit, spirit me away and what they talked about, do they mean kill them? Yes, absolutely. So, I guess you can close the dialogue and then just do it. Is that what you have to do? I'm trying to think of like, what could I do that would like unlock another option? Probably nothing. Actually, can you even attack NPCs? You can't target them. Should I? Maybe they aggro once you hit them. Yeah. I shouldn't, right? 
Mm, I feel so bad. No, Kotaro. Please. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. Let's get you therapy, Kotaro. We'll get you therapy and meds. You're gonna you're gonna feel better, pal. Alright, let's try the five color rice with this person. I was talking about the snakes. Bless me with rice any time. Still do nothing? What if you just pour yeah. rice around him? Yeah. <laughs> just gonna use it. Blessed. So pretty. <laughs> Oh, look, that last one's a different color. They're all different colors, I think. Red. Well, I can't tell the difference between the first two, but there's red. Hmm. And there's yellow, and then there's blue. I think it's a reference to... Probably something. Like, folklore. Hmm. I'm just looking around here trying to think if there's like a shape I could do because didn't it say in the description? Um, yeah, intended to be spread on the ground in recognizable patterns. Yeah, I don't know. But like, I don't see anything around here that could mark a pattern. I can't think of what pattern I might do. Maybe it's not for this woman. Yeah. We gotta get some regular old white rice for her. It just seems so strange I would get the rice right after they mentioned it. Yeah. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Did lots of little things. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to go back up, uh, progressing from the Shigendo sculpture, and then instead of going down to the place that led to the pinwheel, go the other way. This hopefully doesn't require that you just jump and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah.